Hello everybody and welcome to the very first video for this unit plan for U.S. History 1865 to 2008. I wanted to take a few minutes to actually help you learn how to navigate this very large file and to uh, go over a few things about the information in the file and how you can use it either if you're working as a teacher or if you're actually educating your child at home how to be able to use it. And so on the very first slide, I hope that you notice that we have some links here to take you directly to each module or lesson plan, starting with uh, two lesson plans on reconstruction and also going all the way up to what I like to call the naughty 90s. And if you click on these links, it will take you directly to those uh, different lesson plans so that it's a little bit easier to navigate once you get deep into the lessons. Like on lesson 10, you can just go ahead and click down here and it will take you directly to uh, the plan without you having to scroll through. <clears throat> so if, if you need to do that, that is available on slide one. Then also, I would like to tell you that the types of lessons that I include in this unit plan are uh, a variety of activities for different learning styles. There are some activities where there are alternate activities that are uh, designed for students who may struggle a little bit more with a uh, strictly heavy reading and answering questions. Um, there are graphic organizers. There are charts and graphs that students will analyze. Also, political cartoons are included a lot. These activities are for more for high interest. Um, they're not your traditional history activities, which uh, pour over um, facts, names, acts, um, they're designed to be a little more high interest and also designed to keep the student engaged. Uh, these activities require students to build slideshows and to use documents, so they rely heavily on uh, the Google products. And there are instructional videos to help students navigate the lesson plan. And also there are starter files to help the students get started on these activities. Um, some of these activities will include um, more help than others. As you progress forward, you will notice that less help is provided in the hopes that the students will become more of an independent learner. So let's just look at the very first lesson on reconstruction. Each lesson has a set of learning targets. Sometimes we call these learning objectives. And then there are a set of tasks that are aligned to those learning targets to help the student learn about those learning targets. Then for each lesson, there is a video overview. This overview is, is intended to just review the, uh, the actual lesson. It doesn't go into a lot of detail. Some of these videos are about 30 minutes. Some of them are much less as you go forward. And again, the idea is, is at the beginning of using this set of lessons that there will need to be more explanation. And as you move forward, you will have a less need for that explanation. So that video overview is available on the first slide with a link and it will include, as I said, just an overview of the lessons and a little bit of exclamation, explanation. Um, each uh, lesson is accompanied by these uh, targets and tasks explained. Then there is a mini lecture with a link to a video on YouTube in which I basically uh, explain the historical error briefly and uh, this is also uh, a copy of the presentation that is on YouTube. If a student doesn't want to go listen, they can just briefly read through this. Then moving forward, there's a set of detailed notes for each lesson. These detailed notes are more explanatory in uh, the terms of what happened during this historical era. There are links to YouTube videos and other videos that help the student explore the content even more and enrich the student's understanding. A lot of these links have to be copied and then pasted into a new browser window to work. Sometimes the actual uh, touch doesn't work, so um, you might have to do that. 
Um, and so going through these detailed notes, you can see uh, they use a lot of artwork, some political cartooning, links to different articles, um, also explanations. And these detailed notes will be used in some of the tasks moving forward. So I'm just going to click through this really quick. Then we'll get into the tasks. And each task has an explanation. Some of them have starter files or websites that have to be visited. Some of them use context and rely on reading. Some of them use documents and are more document based. Some of these are uh, from PBS. A lot of my lessons come from PBS. It's a great website for students to be able to learn more about the era and enrich their understanding. This is an activity with a political cartoon. And then moving forward, another activity with a political cartoon associated. Um, and then at the end of all the tasks are the answers. So if you were homeschooling a child and using this file for that, you might want to create a second file, create a copy of this file, and remove the answers, and then turn the, turn the file over to the student without the answers, and then you would have the original copy of, of the file. And how you do that is you go up here and you go File, and you just make a copy of the entire presentation, and uh, then you would have an, an extra version for yourself with the answers. And so that is the gist of how these lessons work, how they're organized. As I said, there are alternate uh, assignments sometimes in, in these um, tasks that are not listed on the first page. But in sum, I hope this short video helped you I get an understanding of this set of lessons and how to use them. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.